this colorful garden arrangement is polychromatic, five or more colors. Think back to flower school when you had your color theory, gather your blooms and let me show you how it's done. As the flowers start blooming, I get so excited. So many things to choose from and so many colors. Today I've got Noreen's, Sweet Peas, Forget-Me-Nots, Hyacinths, Poppies, Mint and Thyme, and then the Garden Rose Effie. Everything from Floribundance.com. What a wonderful assortment of materials. I'm working with a ceramic vase. It has floral netting taped in place, then filled with water, pre-mixed with flower food. First step is your heavier, larger blooms, putting them in low so that they anchor the design. The hyacinth, oh so fragrant, absolutely wonderful. Pulling visually from one side to the other, making sure it's down into the water well. Feeding it in. Then the Effie Garden Roses, they too are a little larger. So placing them in low, creating a base that then will support all of the softer, more fragile blooms. Next, the softer, little more fragile blooms. Sweet peas, letting them extend a little further. Can group them for greater value. Forget me not, that soft blue, so romantic. And the mint, tucking it in, it too adds a wonderful fragrance. a bit of thyme, adding herbs to an arrangement really adds an element of fragrance as well as beauty. Then double check your placement, add in blooms till you're balanced front to back and right to left. Last, the special flowers, the poppies and the nerines leaving them longer, letting them come out over the top. Give it a cut, feeding it in, grouping them. Now granted, they're not going to last as long as the others, but by leaving them tall over the top, you can just pull them out when they start to fade and the rest of the arrangement will still be beautiful. In a Noreen, giving it a cut, Letting it come in a little tall as well. So it just towers over the other blooms. The recipe, everything came from our friends at floribundance.com. I started with the garden roses, Effie, and used six stems, and they gave me a wonderful base. Then I added in the garden flowers. I used three of the hyacinth, 10 of the sweet peas. The Tweedia looks a lot like forget-me-nots, used half a bunch, then about a half a bunch of mint, half a bunch of thyme. Then I added in the fun, three stems of the Noreen and three stems of the poppy. You can see it's a polychromatic delight. Designing with a polychromatic palette is a little tricky. Anytime you add five or more colors, you have to be careful. Today it worked because everything is pastel. They're all tints. So just refer to your color wheel. Think about tints, tones, and shades when you're choosing. You'll find more education and more inspiration on the website, flowerschool.com. Yes, there's lots of color videos there as well. Now it's your turn. Gather a colorful collection of flowers. Create an arrangement. Be sure to take a picture. Post it on social media and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love.